Hi you guys, welcome back to my channel. Today it is Beauty Empties for the month of October. I actually don't have a ton of stuff which is surprising for me. I feel like every month, um, luckily because I have a lot of crap, <laughs> my Beauty Empties is just like non-stop. It's just ongoing and ongoing. Um, it's a little bit more contained this month so hopefully we can get through this pretty quick. So this is everything that I finished beauty wise other than like Bath and Body Works stuff during the month of October doesn't mean I used it start to finish just that I finished it probably have been working on most of these things for months and months if not like years um so we'll go ahead and jump in I will link everything that I can down in the description box so you can check it out for yourself if you are interested okay what is right on top um the glam up revitalizing Japanese sake sheet mask. I think I got this in an Allure Beauty box. I don't remember this at all. I think that tells you what it is. I never really find that sheet masks are just like amazing. They're like a fun thing to do. And as long as they are somewhat moisturizing and they stay on my face, they're good. A hand sanitizer. Honestly, could not tell you where this one came from and I'm I use this to like refill my pump hand sanitizer just because I like the form of that best um this like pop top I bet some will come out right now yep I could get a little bit I might actually be able to get a little bit more out of there this would dispense so quickly and you would get just so much of it that um I used it just to like refill pumps of hand sanitizer so went through one of those a toner from Mario Badescu. This is the Witch Hazel and Rosewater Toner. Did enjoy this. I'm not a big rose fan, so I definitely have started avoiding purchasing products that have any rose scent to them. They're just not my favorite. But I really do like Mario Badescu as a skincare brand. I really like his toners. They're just kind of no nonsense. You know, they just, they feel nice. They never break me out. I, they think, I think they do their job. I enjoy them so probably won't repurchase this one just because of the rose but I would repurchase those in general. A little Vaseline lip therapy in cocoa butter. This smelled great. I did really like this. I actually just made my own lip balm so I'm going to experience and experiment with that a little bit to see how that goes. Um, just because I think it's cheaper, more natural, trying to kind of get into the more natural products, but did really enjoy this. It worked well. A hand lotion. This is the Soap and Glory Hand Food Hand Lotion in the Call of Fruity scent. So they have a couple different scents in their hand food line. This one smells like sweet tarts. It smells so, so good. I think this is a fairly moisturizing hand lotion. I enjoyed it. I don't know. I, I would repurchase this not anytime soon. Um, just ready to try some other things, but I did like this. I actually have another hand food one that I'm using right now. I don't know what the exact scent is called, but it's just kind of like their basic original. It might be like rose and bergamot or something. Um, it's a little bit more calm, <laughs> not as like heavily scented as this one, but I did like that. A hair care product. This is the Garnier Fructis Pure Clean Detangler and Air Dry like spray product. Um, I got this in a gift set from Walmart the day after Christmas last year. So the day after Christmas is a great time to go shopping if you're looking for some deals. So I didn't have to work or something. Did I take the day off? Was it on the weekend? I don't remember. But in any case, last year on um, the 26th, I went to Walmart early in the morning whenever their stuff went half off, half off. And I picked up a couple of hair care sets that had shampoo and conditioner in them. And both of the sets that I picked up had like a styling type product. And this was one of them. So it was just like a detangling spray. Um, I use this quite a bit when I got out of the shower just to detangle my hair. Um, 
it was fine. It's not something I'm going to purchase, but it, I used it. So I have two body butters from Trader Joe's. So I have the pumpkin and the coconut. Both are absolutely divine. Both to me smell kind of like a frosting. So like a coconut frosting or like a pumpkin frosting. Um, not spicy or anything like that. So if it's just like a pumpkin scent. Um, the one thing I will have to say is I definitely like the coconut much better. Consistency of the coconut is just, it's thick, but it's spreadable. The pumpkin one is hard to work into your skin because it is so thick. It is super, super thick. Um, I think I have one more of the pumpkin, but honestly, I think I'm over it. I think I'm ready to move on just because of the consistency of it. Now the scent is awesome. And if they made the consistency, just like the coconut body butter, I would purchase this again in a heartbeat because it does. It smells so, so good, but it is really hard to work with at times that I'm just not, I'm just kind of over it. The coconut on the other hand is the love of my life. Move this guy. I really, really enjoy this. If you have a Trader Joe's in your area, if you've never tried their body butters, they were all the rave on YouTube a couple years ago. I continue to rave about them because I truly just love this so much. So I, I would highly recommend. Another e.l.f. brow gel. Go through about one of those a month. I have a toothpaste. This is a Crest baking soda and peroxide whitening toothpaste in fresh mint. It was fine. I don't love peroxide toothpaste a ton. Don't love the flavor of them, um, but it was, it was fine. The RVO Tropical Coconut Lip Balm. One thing I will never do again is buy coconut flavored lip balms. They are never like the right coconut. They're always this like super weird, medicinal, artificial type coconut. They are, they're not good. So this was, this was that. I think I got this from the Dollar Tree, if I'm not mistaken. I finished it. I mean, it is, it is used up, but yeah, just, I'm not a coconut lip balm fan, I have found. Another lip balm. Man, I went through three lip balms this month. This is why I'm making my own lip balm, you guys. I just go through so much. So we're going to give that a try. Um, this is the Vaseline Lip Therapy Cocoa Butter. Really, really did like this. Smooth and silky. I liked the cocoa butter. This was great. A brow product. I think I got this in an Allure Beauty Box. This is the Brow Gal by Tanya Crooks. So this was like a tinted brow gel in like a medium brown. I did really like the spoolie because it's just so super teeny tiny. So it was good to get like precise, um, you know, strokes where you want um, the product to go. It was slightly dark for me though. And this dried out pretty quickly. It's not something that I would purchase. Okay, and then lastly, I have three skincare products. The first, I got this in an Allure Beauty Box as well. This is the Acure Resurfacing Glycolic and Unicorn Root Cleanser. Really, really enjoyed this cleanser, you guys, so much so that I have purchased the full size of it. Um, it has a slightly odd scent. The scent is not amazing. But I've been using, speaking of an empty, the Curology product so much. So I have the custom formula of clinomycin 1%, tretinoin 0.01%, and azelia acid 4%. So because of the tretinoin in this, I've been trying to use this pretty much every night. It's such a low concentration of 0.01%. It doesn't irritate my skin at all. Um, so because of that, I'm finding that I'm not really using my TLC glycolic um, night serum as much anymore. I used to really go back and forth like alternating nights with like a retinol and um, the TLC. But I'm finding that I'm using this just pretty much exclusively and like once or maybe twice a week I'll use the glycolic acid, which probably is totally fine. Honestly, over the last few years of me using that product and really honing in on my skincare routine, the pores on my nose, everything has really 
cleaned up. So I probably don't need to be using it as much as I was. Um, however, having like a face wash or something like this to use also occasionally in the shower is just a nice way to help make me feel like my skin is staying clean and clear. So definitely enjoyed that. Um, this I am canceling. So I have one more month left that I'm currently using. Then I'm going to the dermatologist in November. I think it is time for me to start going to the dermatologist as a 27 year old woman. And I'm going to ask for tretinoin, just exclusively tretinoin. And I'm going to ask for a higher percentage than this. Cause obviously, I mean, I've had zero irritation. So I think I can go a little bit slightly, slightly higher. Um, I will say with the Curology, I've had really great skin the last few months, really haven't had many breakouts. I've had some super teeny tiny ones, um, kind of right here occasionally, but they go away in like a day or so. They're pretty much non-existent. So I don't know. I don't think that's anything to do with this. I think it could be my moisturizer or just, you know, other things, but this really has been great. I've enjoyed it. I just would rather have like the full tretinoin. So. Okay, and then my last skincare product is one that I was kind of curious about and I have, um, I finished it. So this is from the dollar store, the Dollar Tree. This is the Creme de Skin Nutrition's Hyaluronic Acid. So it's a 1% hyaluronic acid plus a vitamin C serum. So I saw this at the dollar store. I had to get it. So I did, I was going to do a whole video on this and I, know I got lazy, I guess, and I just didn't. I did extensive research on all of the ingredients in the product, and every ingredient is in most all topical skincare on the market. They all had a purpose to them. They were all safe. Um, there was nothing about the product just from looking at it that was concerning to me. And I had no issues with this product at all. Now, I don't think that it super helped with moisture and I don't think it made my skin super bright or anything like that, but it definitely didn't irritate my skin in any way. And nothing in the ingredient list, based on the research that I did, made me feel like it was unsafe in any aspect. Um, so for that, I think it's a winner. I think if you are on a budget or just something kind of fun to try, I don't think it was a bad product. I'm not going to purchase it again just because I do feel like I have products that are maybe more potent and I can kind of really see those results, but it definitely didn't do anything, at least on the surface, to harm my skin in any way. But that is it. Those are my entire empties, the smallest month I've had in a while, but it actually, it kind of feels good to, to get through this quick. It'll be an easier video to, to edit and link and everything too. Um, but yeah, I really hope that you guys enjoyed this video and I will see you in my next one. Bye.